Hello everybody, welcome back to another one of my YouTube video. So in this video, I actually prepared to do a little bit different than my typical uh, video. And uh, I want to give you a little back uh, story about, uh, about this photo that I'm using. So I took this photo on my first trip to Alaska uh, last year at the end of May. I've never been to Alaska. I heard a lot about Alaska, and it was just uh, an amazing trip. Uh, so this is one of those photos that I took. What I like about this photo is uh, just, as you can see, it's a very simple composition. Uh, what caught my eyes was the how those, uh, t uh, those skinny branches, they caught those... Uh, light and shadow to give the, the feeling of those light and shadow and overall simplicity of the composition. So I will use uh, this, just this photo for, for this particular painting. And, uh, and oftentimes I, I use multiple photos, but this, uh, for this uh, painting I will be using this photo only. And also, I want to try something a little different. I just, instead of doing a drawing, I will actually start out, just do a value study. And based on the value study, I will go straight to uh, painting. The, I don't even, I'm not even gonna go um, do a under drawing because um, I, I think I mentioned many times that uh, it is not that important to uh, get the small sh shapes, just focus on the big shape, the big mass. So uh, if you have those uh, big shapes in the right place, uh, the small uh, shapes will fall into their, uh, so the small shapes really doesn't mean, that it's not that important. So, uh, and also I plan to do this while I don't want, I want to minimize any editing, so this is gonna be uh, real time. So I'm gonna try to, if I need to take a break, then uh, I'll stop the recording, and then uh, we start when I'm ready. So hopefully it's not gonna be too long. My goal is to be able to get this done, <clears throat> at least the, the block in for, uh, in an hour, hour and a half. So, and this, um, yeah, so, so this is going to be a little different. Uh, hope you guys can uh, just uh, hang out, get a cup of coffee, or just... Uh, uh, anyway, so um, here we go. So I'm going to get start with, uh, with the value study first. So I prepared this... Um, um, <clears throat> painting uh, with a value study. So looking at the photo, you could see, I'm gonna change the, the, uh, the um, composition slightly. So uh, uh, look, looking at the, uh, what, I mean, looking at the, the reference photo, I could see that three shapes uh, that are uh, currently divided. Um, it's, it's okay, but I, I feel like I need to, uh, uh, adjust that composition a little bit. So when I do my value study, um, I usually, uh, th uh, you know, use only three uh, tones, the, uh, your, your light tone, mid tone, and dark tone. So um, again, I'm uh, based on the reference photo, I want to divide this into a kind of three different um, tones. From here, you can see the, the three shapes that I was talking about. And so, again, your light tone, your mid tone, and then um, I'm gonna add my dark tone later. So, because this is, um, at least this is how I want to, and I want this area to be my focal point. I want this area to, kind of uh, become the, the focal point of, of this composition. And so there's smaller shapes, but they are not that important. Um, and then some, just group some of those. 
and break that a little bit. Again, these are just small shapes, right? And then um, maybe I'll have these shapes over here to break up those shapes. So again, I'm I'm not going to do a under uh, a drawing for when I start the painting. So this is going to be the value study. I'm um, I'm going to be using for the big part of the the composition. So. Um, you notice that I don't have any, uh, so far it's just uh, um, two tones, right? So the next thing I'm gonna do is, based on this, I can pretty much add my third value. Um, so the third value is actually, this is the dark tone. Um, this is that dark tone that I, It's if you look carefully, you, you'll see that shape that just kind of go here. And you'll see some darker shapes here to bring out the branches and also variations of those foliage in the, in the foreground. Uh, some So this is uh, as far as I'm going to go, and hopefully you'll see where I'm going with this. Um, again, the um, big shapes are, and then um, to, to go one step further, I t this is not something that I, I want to do, but I figured since I'm not going to be doing any drawing, I might as well just show you... Um, like how these are the things that I don't need to, I don't need to, uh, I typically, if, I, if, you know, if I'm painting, I'm not doing a demo or, or recording, I wouldn't even bother uh, putting these just tiny details. And these are just uh, small details that I, I, and in this case, it's kind of important because I want to show that those dabble lights, uh, I feel like the, the that's the uh, the key, and and if I don't even have that, it's gonna feel kind of maybe, but but you'll you'll see uh, what I'm talking about, like um, the the smaller shapes. So this is this is as uh, I guess this is as um, detailed as I'm gonna go, um, and then of course this will be my. Uh, this is going to be my reference throughout. I'm not even going to do a, a, uh, an underdrawing. And based on that, I'm, I'm ready to go start my painting. And this is the, the painting that the only, I also prepare a 12 by 17 uh, piece of paper. Uh, I actually have. I actually have this um, taped up and ready to go. And let's see. Yep. <clears throat> so um, there is no drawing that need needed uh, to to do anything other than just looking at the value study. And so to start out. Um, I will I will put a a I'll mix a a puddle of um, the if you look at the reference photo there is that blue sky in the back so it's kind of darker on the uh, top and then slowly gradually gets um, lighter and you'll notice there's some variations in the in the color and also in the tone as well so but those are this uh, the minor stuff that I don't really worry too much about. And then, um, and sometimes I, I like to uh, wet my paper, but oftentimes when I, I find myself using the, the um, 
uh, I don't wet my paper as, uh, as, as often as I like it. Uh, by wetting the paper, I actually give myself a lot more time. Uh, so it'll, it'll dry a lot faster. So, but in this case, I'm, since I'm going to go all in, I'm not even going to uh, wet my paper. But I will mix a big pot of color. And um, so start off with the um, ultramarine blue. And I like to also throw in a little bit of manganese blue. So this is the pot of color. That's, this is actually going to be very light. So I'm not even going to. Um, and um, I'm also, now I'm going to add some Chinese white, which, is, which I have here at this corner. And the reason is because I, um, I like to, to, to give it some, um, that powder feel to that. So you'll, you'll notice that, the, and I also add a little bit of color to kind of warm it up a little bit. So this, I have a big puddle to work with. And then I'm ready to, to start painting. Um, and I'm just going to do a, a quick wash. Again, this is a, a dark tone. If, you, if, um, <clears throat> if I look at my, my value study, and continue to move down. And because this is a, um, a fairly light wash, so I'm not too worried about it. I'll just do, go all the way down. And I might just add a little bit of Hassan yellow, just to warm it up just a little bit, especially towards the bottom right here. So um, I think that's about it. And so to prevent, and, and you'll notice there's a little bit of a, a buildup right here, which it's okay. Like I don't, I'm not too worried about it. So I'm going to dry the edge right here, pick up some of the excessive uh, paint. And so it won't go back and have these plumes because sometimes if I leave uh, the paint on the side, the, the water gets back into it and, and it gets kind of um, uh, great, all, the, the, all these uh, cauliflowers. <clears throat> so while this is still wet, I want to, um, I want to um, put that subtle color that, that I, I talked about earlier. And it's just very subtle. There's a little bit of that in the, in the back. So I'm going to put that in right now. And sometimes it's just a, a quick wah. I, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a quick stroke. And this, we're going to give uh, some variation rather than just a, a very flat... Um, uh, a flat wash so and also I am going to put a slightly darker value at the upper right corner and I usually do this really quick so so this one will, will, will add some variations to that uh, flat sky and so while I'm waiting for this to dry, um, the next uh, thing I'm going to do is mix a puddle of color, um, uh, which I actually uh, mentioned here. And this is the color. Um, it's uh, got that really super saturated green right here and over here. And some of the... Um, so there's within this uh, green, there's some in the shadows, but I'm not going to worry the, the ones in the shadow. I'm, I'm, my, my goal is to, to have some variations of the green. So green's going to play a pretty important role and making sure that 
this is the same. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is the mid-tone value. So I will mix a big puddle of color to 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 hit that and uh, and just vary the color a little bit. And especially right here, there's a lot of variations in here that I will um, put. So while this is still wet and I don't... Um, I mean, you, you'll notice that there's some, uh, uh, I, I think some hair <laughs> got um, stick uh, to it, and I'm not even going to worry about that. And you, you'll notice there's some variations in there that, um, I, 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 like, did I, did, did I do it, like, on purpose? No, I actually, it just happened the way it is, and I'm okay with that. So, but this does not affect uh, the end result. And um, I welcome these variations because they are more organic. They, they, they give it a lot more, um, that organic feel. So now I'm going to start mixing my color while this is drying. And, and I typically, uh, like, clean up, uh, I mean, if, if uh, I would actually clean that up a little bit because the, and, if I don't clean this up, um, because it has some white in it, it's going to make the color um, give it that powdery feel to that. So I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to have any of that. Like I want my saturated, I want to full strength as much as possible. Anything that I put white in it, it's going to, it's going to change the, the, the intensity as well as the um, the value. So, <clears throat> so uh, with that, and obviously I'm gonna be covering this whole big mask. So I I'm gonna have to get a big brush, and this is a 12, 11 and a half by 17. So this is quite big, and well, not not that big, but it's big bigger than my normal at and. Now, this is my uh, sap green, which I'm going to use for the, uh, this part of the composition. You'll notice, like, um, there's no marking or anything like that. But looking at that, it's not that difficult if I, if I just follow this. This is just about half of that. And I know people say, well, you don't divide that in half. But really, it doesn't really. If I don't point that out, you wouldn't even know. So <clears throat> the whole point is to, to mix uh, to have the bottom half this occupy, and I'm not too worried about all these uh, subtleties. These are smaller shapes, and um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna later on. You'll see how I'm gonna scrape out those back and and get the lights back in later. <clears throat> so start out mixing the actually the the value first. Mix value first, and you'll see that. Uh, Within this, I'm going to have some warmer, I'm going to put this, some warmer, really warm, and some even. So you can see that there's um, now that all that variation's in there. <clears throat> and then um, I am going to use this, this a puddle of color, but... I'm going to add some, well, maybe on here, I'm going to add some cooler color to that, but to continue, um, and there's some, like, lighter um, green that has um, kind of, because it's lit by the sun, so I'm going to use a smaller brush to mix the, those in. But, um, yeah, so, so again, so you'll see all that variations in there. So between here, almost the um, red, and then kind of go all the way to the other side. So I feel like I'm ready. Um, well, this is still kind of wet, so... I can choose to wait um, or um, not worry about it, and you, I'm going to have some softer edges. So maybe I'll, I'll just, since this side is dry, so I'm going to start out with this one. Um, uh, 
again, it's just um, mixing a big puddle and then just go for it. And there is no drawing to, there's not a lot of drawing to, to, go, for, uh, to go by. You just have to kind of be aware of, of, of those. Half of that, right? Half of the composition right there. So let's just say I know this part is going to be dark, so I'm not too, but I, I like having some of those softer edges. <clears throat> so there's going to be a lot of variations in it. <clears throat> and now I'm going to um, work on this part as well. So remember, um, right here, uh, this part is this part right here. <clears throat> so now it's, uh, it's just uh, this is the the next thing I'm gonna attack, and I will be using a a, a smaller brush just to get the light, uh, the really the intense color of that, and and I am aware of this this area is still relatively uh, dry, but not entirely dry. I mean, not dry. Uh, so I'm gonna add some of. You could see that some of the those, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, the colors um, dried up. And I like that now that the, I have some, um, you know, softer, uh, I mean, uh, more um, stronger shape and, and harder edges. And also vary the, the very the um, what do you <laughs> the 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 way you, um, you put down your brushes so it it'll give some variations in in the um, in the um, the way you put down your stroke so now I'm I'm gonna mix a, a darker part where the um, I guess the, that would be considered the the shadow part of that. Of those leaves, so by mixing up this and this, and this part is still kind of wet. You can see that, and and I'm okay with that, like uh, because I'm I'm not trying to, uh, I guess as long as I don't I don't try to match. I uh, feel like I'm I'm in a hurry, or uh, I'm I'm not trying to match the the the, the key is to not. Uh, try to match what what you have in front of you. So rather, you, you're trying to create the impression of that. And so, So now I have, I'm moving down to the shadow part or the slightly. So, okay. Um, there is, um, 
this area right here, it's still so really wet. Um, there's um, the trick is I'm actually once this thing dries. Uh, the, remember, I, I mentioned that the the focal point. The focal point is actually right around here, and this is something that I have to think about. I have to really make make sure that this is dry. If I don't do that, if I don't wait, if I'm not uh, patient, this will um, uh, the the edges will be really soft, and I don't want that. I want this area to be my focal point. So while I'm waiting for this to dry. I'm gonna mix a, a puddle for the dark, um, f for these dark shapes. And this is um, kind of uh, kind of tricky because um, I'm wa I'm waiting because these these uh, branches or have different color. They're 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 white, so I'm gonna have to mix another color, but I can't work on that right now. <laughs> so. I'm, uh, it, rather than waiting, and this is something that I could uh, use a, a dryer to dry this up, or, or I can just uh, talk my way and just kind of um, kill some time here. Um, but there are advantage of not having this thing dry so fast because I still can work on some, I could, I could start mixing the, um, the, um, the dark tone now. So the dark tone is, um, as I mentioned here, and this area. So um, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this puddle. I'm gonna use the, an existing puddle, and I'm gonna add some. I'm gonna add some um, paint gray, and I actually don't um, add a lot of water. You you'll notice that I don't um, there's not a lot of water that I, like I used to, and that is uh, dioxin purple, and I like how um, this is kind of semi dry, but it's not dry entirely, and this is the area that has um, kind of really dark. Um, so I'm gonna try to hit that, and you'll see there's some. Um, you'll see like the dark color. And <clears throat> using uh, uh, my brush, uh, I just quickly just create some like random shape. Um, you'll see like um, some of these shapes are random and depending on the wetness of the brush and there's a lot of uh, ways you could add those. Okay, so now I'm going to continue with that and some of the foreground, which is actually kind of warm, and I'm going to add some of that. Um, And you know what? I'm not gonna take my chances. I'm gonna uh, dry this. Um,
Okay, <clears throat> now that um, the whole thing is dry to the touch, uh, there's still some area that's not like super dry. Uh, but for the most part, this um, is pretty dry. So I am actually cleaning this up because I want to I want to add some, I want to add those branches in there now. Those, these branches going to be right here. And if you look at the reference, it's just one clump. But I want to vary those. Some, you see the, the, some of the placements are very random, but they are kind of within that same area. So I'm going to put that in there now. And, and you, you'll notice there's some lighter area in those branches, but I'm not going to worry about those. Those things I can take care of it later. So the whole idea is to, for me to mix a puddle of color um, that I could, when people look at it, oh, that's white, that's light, that, that's not the same, uh, um, the same uh, uh, color as the grass, but they, these are white uh, uh, branches. They're, they're light, they're, they're pretty light. So I mix a puddle or a small puddle. And then within that, I'm going to add some variation to, to these. Uh, some of them are maybe a certain area needs to be cooler. And then, like, maybe the bottom here can be slightly warmer. So there's, like, all that variations in there that... Um, okay, let's see. Maybe this is not dark enough, but I'm going to... Um, I'm not, once I, um, it's always a good idea to just kind of um, get that feel. And, and I, I'm, I'm not, like, I don't want to just take my time and get it. I want to hit it one time and, and forget it. And, and if I get it, it's great. If I, if I don't, I'll see what I can do with it. And this is actually, just looking at it, it looks like it's a lot lighter than what I had anticipated. But I'm not going to worry about it, because this is going to be the light, and then I'm going to add the darker uh, later. I'll make it slightly. I'm going to add the small ones there. Add some small ones. And then there is a big one right up front. <clears throat> Depending if I should put the the light one here, which I'm not sure. You know, I'm just going to leave it out for now. And so 
now I have this what I got so far. Um, my some of my docs are in already, but I um, um, the next thing I'm going to do is make a, a part of a dark color and hit that, and I should be able to have a good idea of where. I'm going with this uh, once I have my dark tone in there. Uh, but I have to be mindful that um, um, these some of uh, some of these darker um, some of these darker colors gonna bring out the the ne this is the negative painting that I'm gonna um, create next. So uh, as you guys remember that this is that darker puddle of color that I mixed earlier. So this is the time to do it. And, and again, this is all dried up because of the, uh, it's been sitting here for a while and I'm actually gonna take advantage of that. So it's, it, you, you'll notice I'm not too careful. I'm not too worried about the exactness of, of that. I just wanted to play it off and to see where um, certain, certain like shapes um, um, certain shapes should have some kind of randomness to that like and I have to be careful because these shapes will describe the uh, again I'm, I'm painting I'm doing like a negative painting so, so really it's just I'm um, and watch if I put my dark tone here, this will, even though it's still wet, I have to be careful, uh, it will become a part, you'll see the, the, um, the difference once I put my darks in, and therefore it's, you'll see how um, all this is going to play, uh, work, uh, work with each other or against each other. And so this is the fun part about painting this way like it really um, don't know what uh, to expect sometimes um, um, especially when you're painting a um, lot of things that are just there's a lot of these variables just kind of moving all at the same time um, you know you just have to willing to keep an open mind and not fixate it on like, oh, it's got to be a certain way and, and look at what, what is on, on your painting and really just go and start to bring out what is already there. Um, I want to be able to have the flexibility to, um, hey, you know, this is working better if it's going this direction and not too concerned about matching what, you know, your reference uh, calls for. Um, And if you keep this mindset, it's actually not a, um, um, it, it allows you to, to see things that, or to have a, a surprise, uh, um, to have some surprises or, or that element of surprise, um, but if you if you um, fixated on having to match your your reference, then then it just gets kind of because um, you're gonna have to feel like oh you have to erase everything you have to erase uh, this and that and but this case rather than doing that I'm gonna go the opposite way I'm gonna say hi how can I how can I bring this, I like this aspects of it, but how can I bring, incorporate that into my painting and not so fixate on, oh, well, this does not look like the reference that I start out with and I'm going to change that. I mean, you could, but I, I suppose. Um, but 
the way I approach it is like I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I have here and try to bring out what is already here, uh, there. So this way I'm working with what I have rather than try to manipulate everything to to match the um, to match the the reference photo. I think that's um, something that I find very useful is that um, I don't I don't mind to change direction um, if if uh, again <clears throat> going back to this now so um, I, I initially I have a thought about having an additional branch that's coming down here I could still do it but but uh, it, at what cost is it is it is it better to just leave it the way it is or or um, you know, to, to try to match that. So I have to I have to think about this. I have to really think about the overall. Uh, do do I want to have all that or? And I like how the soft edges are playing off of each other. Now I have some like really soft edges in the back, which it was not really something that I intended. But. Uh, looking at that, I said, "Oh, well, actually, that's not too bad. I could, I could incorporate that into into the painting." Um, and now it's just getting in the the minor, smaller shapes up front. Um, so um, yeah, so at this point, I am about done with the block in. And this is the part where I usually like need to step back and ask myself, do I want to continue with this? Um, is it worth my time to, um, or is it much better if I just just get rid of this altogether or continue? Like this is the critical stage where I need to to make those decisions because I don't I don't if if I don't feel like this is going the direction I want to go um, I need to I need to make a decision right now um, so it yeah so so it's just a um, matter of making those decisions uh, before you move um, to the next stage because you're gonna spend a lot of time try trying to 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 polish this painting and and this is usually the the stage where I mean is it if it's not worth the time to to spend the next three or four or five or whatnot, I, I mean I don't know how long uh, typically people spend time on to polish their painting, but I it it, it takes me a long time. Like the the, the blocking takes typically about half an hour to ninety minutes, um, but the polishing part takes a lot longer. So. Um, it, uh, then I, you know, if I'm going to spend that kind of time, I, I want to make sure that this is worth my time to, to, to take it to the next level. Because, and sometimes if you know a painting is not working, and no matter how much time you put in there, it will, it just looks, it will look um, like you, you, you're trying too hard. Um, um, so I, I don't, I don't. Like I don't want to waste my time. I, I if if I feel like it's not working, I'd rather just cut it off. And hey, you know, this is just better off doing a, a new painting than than um, a f uh, working on a, a try to fix a, a a bad painting or or a, or a bad uh, start. So so you might as well just get over it and and move on to the next one. So now I'm adding some. This is the part. This is the 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 part that is the fun, and at the same time, um, um, the dark shapes that the smaller shapes, right? So remember, I talk about like you know now I, I I don't I don't worry about the big shapes now. I I and I'm sure by now you know you 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 sense that I'm pretty happy with the. The, the current block and I, I'm just now moving to the next stage. I, I feel like it's, it's, it's really important for me to, to bring out those um, shapes, those uh, small 
but important shape because they really will give you that feeling of sunlight, those dabble lights that I I talked about. Um, and again, it, it even at this stage, I'm still thinking in terms of the the big um, the the big shapes and uh, the overall composition, and not getting caught up in in the the small shapes. And to refine the small shapes and and remember, you can always erase something. You could, if you don't like, you could always um, get darker shape. You could, you could. Um, you could lift out some darker color or light, uh, I mean, lighten certain color. Um, so the, these are the things that you can do and to add, really just to connect. So again, I, I mentioned that this isn't my focal point and I don't, I don't want to spend too much time working on certain area that is not quite as important. And so you notice that certain area, I'd like I would pay really super careful attention to, to, to make sure that I direct my attention to where I want my my audience to to look at. And so, at this point. <clears throat> I can go in there with a, um, it's one of those um, like synthetic um, old brushes that I, I typically have, uh, like to use to kind of rub out some of the lighter um, you'll notice like See, it's not that hard to bring back the light, right? It is actually a lot easier than you think. Um, watercolor is not not as um, um, it's very forgiving. It's not as um, an unforgiving medium as a lot of people think. Um, I always feel like. Um, um, if you get to know the medium a little bit more, you realize that actually this is not, this is actually quite forgiving. And this area, I, I want to bring out, if you look at the reference, you'll see that like this, there's some light, pa patches of light here. Again, the same thing, I would be using this brush to lift out some of the light area to, create that shadow, light and shadow feel. So little by little, you can see the feeling of that starts to come through. And, and sometimes it's, sometimes certain scenes are easier than others. I mean, I'm not saying, uh, in this case, like I, I knew, it, I mean, most of the, in most case, I, I feel like I, I I know what I'm looking for, and I plan out my my um, <clears throat> value study. Uh, I, I plan out my uh, composition using a um, using my value study. And in this case, as you can see, I'm I'm gonna bring. I'm going to show you right here. This is my value study. Um, so you can see the similarity between the two, but they're not exactly the same thing. In fact, I there's a, a lot of nuance that you can see here that I'm I'm going to add, and and there because this is going to be my focal point. I'm gonna make it, um, I'm gonna create a little bit more interest and I might have some overlapping shapes and some of these um, 
trees, then I could now I could go and and really um, design those to kind of bring them uh, connect these connect this group of 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 trees and have some of them uh, in the front, some of them in the back, and um, feel like oh, it almost feels like this needs some kind of needs to be uh, more like that and and don't make it look exactly the same thing and just vary those um, so um, again I'm beginning to to get a feeling or the sense that uh where I'm going. <clears throat> um, you see how this, there's a, <laughs> there's, uh, I, I'm not sure if this is a mistake or whatever, but it's just so interesting. The, it's the way it's, I could go in and say, oh, shoot, this is terrible. Like, this, I messed up. Like, what am I going to do? Am I going to erase this part or I could say, hey, you know, maybe I can, I could turn this into a, this is what uh, I guess a lot of artists would call that a happy accident, right? And I really think that rather than erase that or, or I, I, I just thought it would be so interesting to kind of incorporate that into your painting. And so, so that way it just, now, um, is that going to change? All no, but it, it, Feels like it's just um, if it's it's much definitely a much easier to 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 kind of incorporate that in there than to like erase that right to figure out a way to kind of oh shoot how to erase that and you, there's some color underneath it it's just a pain right but but see when I do that it's like I find that much more enjoyable I find that like oh I don't um, you know I say this a lot. There are no mistakes. It's just whatever you put down. And if you don't like something, and it's a good idea to put something that to counter that, to, to make it much more um, as if you really meant that. And, and sometimes it's not that important to, I mean, our viewer is not going to um, need an explanation, and you don't need to explain that to anybody. You just have to explain to yourself and say, hey, is this what I'm looking for? And that's much more important. So <clears throat> at this point, I'm getting kind of close to, to the, um, I guess, to um, getting close to, to taking a break. Because if, if I don't do that, I am going to regret it because I will have the ten. I will. Um, I always have the tendency to to overwork something if I don't take a break, and I promise I will um, stop the recording. I will make sure that when I come back, it will be. Um, you know, I'm not going to work on this and 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 not record it. So, so this way you'll see that maybe when I take a break, I'll come back and. I'll have um, I'll start again, and I guess the downside is uh, people would say, "Oh, you lose that momentum," and that's true to a certain extent. But um, I, I, I um, yeah, but you know, you can't have everything. So, <laughs> um, so again, it's just um, coming back, uh, taking a break, and come back may not be a, a bad idea. Okay. So I'm going to stop everything and come back in a few minutes or maybe in 20 minutes. I am back <clears throat> for another session. <clears throat> so I am cleaning up the my palette so that way I have a clean palette to work with. And <clears throat> I will be doing some uh, lifting, mostly lifting. Uh, I, now that <clears throat> now that I have a 
a better idea of what um, what I'm working with. Okay, <clears throat> so I'd like to continue with um, <clears throat> excuse me, the light to uh, lift the um, the light part of these branches. <clears throat> I'd like to look at the reference now to kind of give me an idea of <clears throat> just to give the feeling of those light, um, I think um, that this is actually going to imply some of the, how the, um, the light um, <clears throat> also affecting the, the branches here in the mid-ground. <clears throat> So if I imply some of it in the foreground, that it's actually um, going to do the same thing, even though I, I don't have to do all that. I don't have to <clears throat> copy what's in there. And you can see that this is actually, uh, we could see where the light and the shadow is right now. And uh, right here, it feels a bit too dark. I feel like maybe, um, oh, I could, uh, and you could see that th clearly this in the light and the shadow, light in the shadow. And you can see this is part of it, it's in the light and the shadow. So those are the things that I don't have to address every single one of them. And so the, the, the idea is to, <clears throat> Um, to suggest some of it. Um, and also, if you look at the, um, the reference, you'll find that the, towards the bottom of that, you'll see uh, some of it, it's actually um, in the shadow, and you get some bounce lights, which I, I like, I kind of like that. I, I like to see, um, I'm going to make some color to kind of, bring that further down. <clears throat> so that way, some of the will be in the, sh in the shadow and you, you're getting some of the bounce light from, from the, and <clears throat> again, it's just fixing the smaller shapes. And I feel like this, 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 it's too, it's too um, even. So I'm going to throw th things, make it a little bit more asymmetrical. So just to add some interest. <clears throat> So this way, um, no, I, 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 this is no longer the one, two, three. So this way, it feels a little bit more organic. And <clears throat> and then going to continue to see. Um, because this area right here, it's in the light. <clears throat> I want to make sure this reads as well. Lighten this part. And some of these um, going to be like the foreground grass. And I'm going to lighten some of these area
So this process is just, um, <clears throat> it's more like work on it a little bit, step back, take a look at it, and just don't, just don't like sit there and just keep adding details and, and work on a little bit and step back and, and, and analyze that. Is that too much, too little? Um, and also, I like to add, you see how this feels like it goes from, from darker and then it eventually, because of the um, first wash, it, 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 the, the, the um, edges are kind of slowly fading away. But if I'm gonna make, I, I can make a, a, I can make a slightly kind of a darker wash. It's just gonna let, make that transition slowly uh, further back. So if you look at the reference, you'll see some of that in there. Take advantage of the, um, the randomness of the brush that's um, creating the that the texture of <clears throat> of the distant grass. I think it's um, it'll add some interesting textures and give it more um, like definitions uh, in the foreground and makes the transition a little bit more fun to look at. Again, our focus is still, you know, up here in the middle. Um, um, and then um, adding some light in this area and make some really intense color. And I sometimes use some white to um, <clears throat> to uh, add some definition here, but I'm um, I'm going to try to do uh, some more lifting first. And you can see this is kind of if I extend some of these shapes here, it's going to make it look a lot more natural it's just gonna make the transition a little bit more more natural again it's not don't overdo it um, work on it step back step back and make sure you don't Do everything at once and and walk away, and may, don't spend like ten hours work on something and and then like not give yourself a break. And these are the just the smaller shapes now. <clears throat> And don't underestimate these smaller shapes because they actually, it's a way to connect the, um, the shapes. It's a way to connect all, all the shapes, um, group some of those shapes um, within that, add some interest to
like if I add a dark line in the back, it it's just going to suggest uh, that's behind that. And it tells the audience that this stops right there. Not only that it describes the this tree trunk, it also kind of gives a lot more dimension to that as well. And this is the part where I don't actually don't look at the reference anymore. I feel like at this point, it's just um, try to bring out what is on the uh, initial block and, and try to keep everything I have and, and not um, try to erase those. And so how can I make those shape a little bit more interesting? Maybe if I connect those shapes so that this shape, this shape, and all connect that. And okay, <clears throat> here's another um, <clears throat> session. So as I mentioned earlier, um, uh, it's a good idea to take breaks more often to so you could um, have a clear idea where you want to go and not overwork your painting. And as you can see, what I'm doing right now is just um, lighten the foreground element a little bit more to just add some textures at the same time. Um, I don't want to rely on just using darker and also want to bring out the light as well to, to kind of do both, to kind of lighten the whole thing uh, and also add some textures, a slight uh, variations to um, these are the things that um, I wanted to bring out. And it's... Um, just gently remove some of the um, the pigments, um, and this is a, a process that just takes a little bit longer, um, soften the edges, and by now the you you you'll notice that each session it's gonna be slow. I mean the pro the the. I mean, you won't see the the changes will be a lot more subtle. It's not gonna be like before. I think the most fun and at, at the same time stressful time is when you're doing the block in, and um, at this stage, it's just kind of maintaining um, what um, what I have to keep that um, the initial. Um, the initial block in and the, the idea is to just to continue to maintain what's 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 the initial block in and not overwork the painting and and if you look at the the uh, reference photo you'll notice there's some of these I think dandelion. To, so at this time of the year, I think uh, you could even in Alaska you could see the um, some of those wildflowers. And so I'm gonna put a, a few big ones up here to kind of leave your uh, lead your eyes to to the um, the focal point and just to kind of suggest some of the dandelions up, uh, appearing in the back here as well. So again, this is gonna take some time to to um, get that in there. And again, it's just um, and these are the things that I did not um, um, planned out in the uh, uh, doing my uh, the the study. I mean, when I when I start the the uh, what do you call that the value study <clears throat> and. It's not that important for me to have all those things nailed down, and I'm not gonna put every single one I see that in there. Um, but so what I'm doing right now is just uh, to kind of 
uh, slowly adding those those details and and this is uh, 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 this this area is uh, further away from us so you you don't see the individual flower but you do uh, I do want to see that light and shadow pattern that I that I think it's interesting and just had add, adding those dabble lights and again if you if you continue to if you compare some of this to to the uh, reference, um, it's beginning to to kind of deviate from from that from the um, the reference photo, and it's not an exact match. It's just a a point. It's just a um, it's it get the the inspiration the it's just how um, it, this is where I got the inspiration from and I want to now take it a little bit further and really um, take it to the next level <clears throat> and so Looking at this, I feel like the um, there's it's it's just one tone, right? But if I'm gonna add some color shifting, like maybe from a warm over here, and then it gets goes back, it gets cooler. So this is an area that I can I can work on. I can just push that color a little bit more. Just give it a slight warm. Um, kind of a glaze to it. So you'll see um, that some of the warmer color is going to be up front where the transition between sh light you're in the shadow and so this part in the back I'm going to lighten that just a slightly a little bit and then I'm gonna go back and go back in <clears throat> and make it slightly cooler. Okay, and so you can see the and add a little bit of Chinese white give it that opacity going in there in the back as well just kind of help push that further back and help with the with the the temperature shifting further back so okay and then I'm going to start to add some slight shift in that warmer and this is just some of the color difference in the light. Okay. Alrighty. Um, again, um, it's going to take another, I don't know how long this is going to take for me to finish, but uh, I believe this is long enough and, and I, I'm, not, I'm not expecting you guys to sit all the way through. And again, because the, the payoff is going to be a lot smaller, it's just very difficult to see like how uh, um, to be able to finish this, it's going to take me a long time. And I think I'm going to have to call it, and I believe it's going to take an... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to see if I can keep an eye, uh, track of how much time I'm going to put, I'm going to be spending on this one after I stop 
recording. But I guess that it's just the, the payoff is just so um, so small. I'm not sure if it's worth all that time. And I, I feel like it's, and yeah, it's just connecting those smaller shapes, um, especially the up front. Um, this, I can get rid of that. Yep, so this is it. Um, Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, um, video, and uh, I will see you in the next one. And if you like uh, what you're looking at, um, you know, uh, feel free to subscribe, uh, share with, uh, this so other people can see it. Otherwise, uh, yeah, feel free to leave a comment, and uh, I will see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.